French press versus drip coffee. Which is better? Which method produces the best coffee, pressing or dripping? This is a question that coffee enthusiasts love to argue about. However, the dispute over French press versus drip coffee merits further investigation. While it all may come down to personal opinion, understanding why this controversy continues to rage can help you decide which side of the fence to sit on. We'll assist you in determining which product is best for you by unlocking this discussion. Just keep on watching the video to see if French press coffee outperforms drip coffee or vice versa. So make sure you like and subscribe. And now let's get into it. The French press. The French press coffee machine produces a cup of coffee that is highly flavorful and beautifully textured. This iconic equipment, sometimes known as a coffee press or plunger, is a fixture found in many kitchen cupboards and hotel rooms. The French press is a simple yet elegant design that has undergone a few changes since an Italian inventor initially patented it in 1929. So, is it really French or Italian? In the end, it makes no difference. What matters is what it does to coffee, how simple it is to use and how wonderful the coffee is. Many coffee enthusiasts believe that a coffee press provides flavor equivalent to an espresso machine, but with a more robust texture. It's a straightforward design, a cylindrical container filled with a suitable amount of coffee. You pour in some hot, but not boiling, water, give it a short stir and cover it with a lid, leaving it to brew for the necessary amount of time. The plunger filter is then slowly pushed downwards, driving the coffee grounds to the bottom while the excellent brewed coffee remains on top. Drip coffee makers. Drip makers make it easier to make that first cup. Some even have timers that you can set to wake you up with a hot steaming pot. They're great for having a hot coffee ready and accessible. Drip has evolved over a century, but the underlying idea remains the same. The drip makers are completely automated. Simply place the ground coffee inside the filter and turn on the machine. The remainder is then up to the machine. It will extract the goodness and leave you with a freshly brewed cup of coffee to enjoy any time you want. The pour-over method was the first to popularize this simple method of brewing coffee. It was modernized when we combined simplicity and electricity to create the automatic drip system. These machines are truly set and forget, with complete automation and the capacity to keep your brewed coffee hot for extended periods of time. French press coffee versus drip coffee. We'll weigh the advantages and disadvantages of drip coffee machines against French press coffee makers. Which is more adaptable? How long till you're sipping a hot cup of coffee? How tough is it to use them? How many cups of coffee does each of them produce? And most importantly, which one has the best flavor? Which one produces a speedier cup? The brewing time for a cup from a press is five to eight minutes. This involves heating the water and steeping the brew for three to four minutes. Brewing coffee using a drip machine usually takes five to 10 minutes. Allow the machine to warm up before brewing for the specified time and allow the coffee to drop down into the pot. Certain automatic drip devices, such as the bun coffee maker, may brew coffee in as little as three minutes. In terms of brew time, this puts the drip machines ahead of the press. The drip machine is the clear winner here. However, cleaning time is the same for both. However, if you simply need to boil a small amount of water to save time and aren't concerned with having coffee ready and waiting for you at all times, the press is for you. Making coffee has become a habit. It is an art to perfect it. Which is more convenient to use, pressing or dripping? When preparing coffee with either of these, there is a lot to consider. Coffee grind, water temperature, brew time, and the rate at which you push the plunger filter are all variables at work here. For the press, getting your brew time is critical. If you leave it too long or too short, 
your coffee will taste overbrewed or weak. However, after you've figured out what works best for you, it's just a matter of repeating the process and keeping an eye on the time every time. A drip coffee machine is difficult to go wrong with. Simply measure the appropriate amount of ground coffee, as directed by the manufacturer, place it in the machine, check your water level and return as soon as the machine is ready. Some models allow for minor modifications, but nothing compares to the press. The grind is the only place where there is room for error. Your coffee will be awful if it is too coarse or too fine. Just keep in mind to replace the filter after each brew. In terms of ease of use, the clear winner is the drip coffee machine. Brewing coffee on a drip machine is as simple as using a spoon and pressing a button. While the press gives you more control over each variable, the drip approach assures that you don't mess it up. Finally, it's time to figure out which coffee maker makes the best tasting cup. If you're passionate about coffee, as we are, the flavour of the finished product is the most crucial aspect in any coffee decision you make. With a French press, you have complete control over every aspect, allowing you to perfect your brewing process and keep your taste buds humming. The extra intricacy is an issue, yet critics constantly praise the press for its taste. The oils contribute significantly to the flavour of your coffee. The paper filter in a drip machine traps the majority of these oils, which never make it to your cup. A French press, on the other hand, does not use a paper filter and thereby maximises flavour potential. Serious coffee enthusiasts find it difficult to acclimatise to the taste of the drip technique and they frequently complain about its weaker, lighter flavour. However, there is no accounting for personal preference and many individuals simply like the taste of the drip. However, we should not overlook the fact that lighter roasts may just be more suited for drip machines. Another point to consider is that many automatic drip coffee machines continuously heat coffee. After a while, the coffee tastes burned. That's not good. Nonetheless, some drip coffee makers come with a thermal carafe, which we always suggest over heat plates. When it comes to full-bodied, rich-tasting coffee, the French press reigns supreme. Simultaneously, other people like the lighter flavour generated by the drip method. Choosing a superior way for your subjective taste is thus a matter of preference rather than method, however. Is there a winner between a French press and an automatic drip coffee machine? No, not really, because it is ultimately up to you. The French press allows you the most control over all variables, resulting in a fuller taste brew. While not ideal for keeping your coffee hot all day, cleaning and preparing your French press for the next batch when you need it is simple. Drip machines are ideal if you don't want to worry about preparing coffee for each individual cup. Many people choose them because of their convenience of use and capacity to keep a pot of coffee warm for extended periods of time. Which coffee making method do you prefer and why? Let us know in the comments down below and don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more. Catch you in the next one.